For more on cyber threats, we bring in ABC's chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas. Pierre, it's reported that Colonial Pipeline went ahead and paid that ransom over the hack. What have you learned about that? Lizzie, we're still sorting out how the ransom might have been paid. These ransomware attacks are complicated and can sometimes involve third parties. But I've been told by sources that the ransom demanded was in the low millions of dollars and that attack launched by a gang using ransomware developed by Darkside, a group of hackers based in Russia. Lizzie, this is a stunning reminder of how vulnerable U.S. companies are to such hacks and the limitations of the federal government in controlling how companies maintain their security and respond to these kind of attacks. We know the FBI's position was that the ransom should not be paid, Lindsay. Uh, and we've heard from experts, though, that companies quite often do pay these ransoms, which of course makes this crime profitable and attractive to bad actors. What do U.S. officials say about that? And is there anything that they can do to stop companies and individuals from making these payments? Lindsay, we found out that in the past year, U.S. companies and consumers have paid ransoms in the amount of about $350 million. So this is an ongoing and very lively and clearly profitable uh, thing for criminals to do. Now, again, the FBI is saying you shouldn't pay this. I talked to a Secret Service source today who said they always tell companies not to pay uh, the ransoms, but clearly these companies are under pressure. And to be honest with you, there's not a lot that the federal government can do because these are private entities and they control how they respond. And you talked about how profitable this is, according to DHS, ransomware is also now the fastest growing cyber crime. And we've heard from experts that it's a relatively cheap crime to pull off. So what can the government do to fight it? Well, again, this software was developed by this group, Darkside, and apparently they dole it out to whoever wants to use it. And then when it's used, the people that do the extortion pay them a cut of what they make. Now, you're right. This is a very fast-rising type of crime. Uh, the Homeland Security officials reported in the last week or so that they've seen a nearly 300 percent jump in ransomware cases in the past year, Lindsay. Pierre Thomas, our thanks to you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.